I now give the floor to International Service for Human Rights. President, between 2019 and 2020, I was forcibly conscripted by the Rada militias and sent to war fronts alongside hundreds of other refugees and immigrants. Many people perished before my eyes. In 2021, in Tripoli, around 4,000 immigrants and refugees came together to protest for more than 100 days in front of the UNHCR, demanding a better treatment. On January 10, 2022, militias violently broke the protest. Mohammed al koja head of the detention camps in Libya, who is wanted today by the ICC for human trafficking, ordered his militias to shoot at the protesters and set fire at our camps. UNHCR that is supposed to protect us had two days earlier closed its offices and left. Subsequently, hundreds of peaceful protesters were removed to Enzara detention camp. More than 250 are still detained in detention centers. Refugees, immigrants are living in enslaved conditions, sleeping in human conditions, vulnerable to diseases, and eat once a day, as documented by the FFM, trafficking, enslavement, forced labor, imprisonment, extortion, smuggling, has generated significant revenue for individuals, groups, and state institutions. Underlying acts of crimes against the humanity has been committed in detention center. We question has the victims if the mandate of the only independent body on the Libya comes to an end. Who will document this violation? Where do we find accountability?